I want to tell you about John, a 10-year-old boy that was coming to the meetings. One day, I saw him really running, running, coming to the meeting. And I took a picture from far, you know, because I said, oh, that's so nice that he's coming quickly. He wants to be there for the program, the children's program, which was earlier than the adult program. And a uh, few days after, one of my children asked me, Mommy, why does John walk like that? Why is his foot like that? What do you mean? He has, uh, his foot is like twisted, like he's walking like on the side and with his foot bent. So, oh, really? Huh. And then uh, the next day or a few days after, I remembered and I paid attention and I asked him, it was a defect from birth. But it didn't matter actually he, he puts his flip-flops and he's like really on the side it, it looks crooked and he he limps and then i remember the picture i have taken of him running i said wow he was running he 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 was running and with his foot like that you know amazing to me to see that this little boy was so eager to learn about god and he, he sang with so much enthusiasm. And uh, even after the meetings, they were still coming like for a month. But unfortunately, they, they moved location. So they're not coming anymore. But um, I hope that the seed that was planted in their hearts, his heart and his sister heart, can be fruitful. You know bringing them to the kingdom of heaven and that what they learn they can remember it and at the, at the right time they can accept the Lord and we can see them in heaven and he would be able to walk you know walk normally and be blessed be blessed to be with God and it's our hope and desire that each one of us will be in the kingdom of heaven there are many ways to reach the communities and one of them, even though it's not directly here for the Philippines, sometimes I take a little moment and I do editing and audio files for the Spanish Spirit of Prophecy books. Example, I just finished the book Country Living in Spanish called De La Ciudad al Campo and it's divided in 65 chapters and I did the 65 chapters in audio it is already in the Ellen White state for reviewing and once it is reviewed it will be put into the web page for the downloading for the Spanish community and uh, we do have the Tagalog songs of the scripture songs of the book that my twin was referring by the way that book is in Amazon but for the Philippines we have the Tagalog we are tr working on the Tagalog uh, translation and we have the songs already in Tagalog and because the book has the activities, my queen can use them with um, my children, especially when we have children department for the Sabbath, for the churches, Sabbath or even in evangelistic meetings. Like one of these days, mm -hmm. we helped a pastor uh, from the um, literature evangelism who is in charge of that department in the conference. Mm -hmm. And he had an, an evangelistic meeting uh, a week. And he invited us, the family, to um, take charge of the Medical. health lectures and also the dental uh, outreach and also the children's, children's department for that evangelistic ministry or children's ministry and uh, we help them with that and my queen used the activity coloring pages for the specific songs for every day so were 10 songs and they are focused in one character quality and uh, she was and able to health aspect as well. and a health aspect as, al as well linking the health with the character quality with that activity coloring and activity book. and a story from and the bible 
So we are able to use all that for our ministry so we are able to help the children also to learn the Bible, be more acquainted with the stories and they have a way to color and uh, enjoy more the activity that they have. And at the end there were 31 baptisms from that meeting. Yeah, by Praise the way, the in that evangelistic meetings, we had a blessing that we give, uh, we gave a wet sheet pack treatment to several of the persons there. Three wet sheet pack actually, some of them from different diseases like gout, uh, and two of them had actually uh, the desire to quit smoking and be baptized. So we helped them with the wet sheet pack and guided them with some ideas and what to do for it. And uh, they were, uh, one of them was baptized, the other one was already a member of the church, but at the same time we helped them with the uh, treatments and they were helped, mm -hmm. thank God. And uh, also after the evangelistic meetings, we learned a few days later that one of the families of the area who, was, um, the, who were actually Adventists before, they did backslide in the uh, reform movement they rebaptize in the church also mm -hmm. and that is a blessing that we could participate in those kind of activities to see the evangelism going forward in the third year's message uh, to be proclaimed to the people and it was really a, a nice blend because uh, the pastor really organized the people every morning they would go and do visitation and many of them you know were sick so he would bring along Dr. Boutet to see them, to assess them, to give them, them advice. And it was the very first time that I really saw, you know, the joining of the pastoral work and the medical work. And when we saw the results, I mean, many of the people who got baptized, they had either received a medical or a dental treatment. And I, I really felt blessed and I felt privileged to have been able to work hand by hand in this way. It was amazing that I was even challenged and I had the opportunity to help a man who had a inguinal hernia that was so big that his intestines will actually fall in the sac of the testes. And I would you know, just got my gloves on and put to work. <laughs> and I helped him to you know, get back the intestine in place. And he actually, I taught him actually how to do it, so he could do it, uh, especially at night, and then uh, sleep better, more comfortable. And you know that helps his bowel movements and everything. So um, you know different things. You have to work sometimes in the raw way <laughs> because there is no other, you know, sometimes facilities or uh, instruments or whatever. So we thank you for uh, participating with us and coming to watch this video. And we hope that as we are working in hands on the plow, God will find you also working for him. And in many areas, you have a talent, you have a skill, you have a call to do work. And we invite you at the same time. If you have not been, please go and do. And if you don't know what to do, ask the Lord. He will give you something to do for his service. Even at home, you start at home with faithfulness in the little duties and he will entrust with you with bigger responsibilities. So may the Lord help you and guide you. And the time is short. We want every family to be following God's plan. Go to the country, plant your own food so that we can be prepared for what is coming. And have the character of Jesus, mm -hmm. which is the most important thing of following the country living call. And we can get ready for the last warning and we go to heaven. God bless you and thank you for being with us. And we say, Palampo. Bye-bye. God bless. God bless you.